Okay. Hey guys, welcome to our first May Mindset Masterclass. This is the first time I'm, I've ever hosted a mindset class. I think it's going to be awesome. Um, it's kind of an accumulation of the past four years. Um, as I've listened to different people, Preston Pugmeyer, and just some different people talk about mindset more recently, um, I'm realizing that I have had a mindset journey. I just haven't identified it as such. <laughs> so just hang on to your hats because as you guys um, see your vision realized for what Plexus can be for you and your family, um, it's a, a journey of growth really. Um, and it's a good, it's a good journey. It's, I love that there's so many of you that are invested in, in growth, in um, learning, in um, investing in yourself. And you know, the things that we learn in Plexus are applicable to other areas in your life. It makes you better. It makes you better spouse, makes you better mom, dad, friend, daughter, sister, you know, all those things. So I just also wanted to just say thank you and congratulations for being willing to do the work. You guys are rare. <laughs> You're not normal and it's, it's totally fine to be weird. All right. So, um, congratulations on that. Um, I am going to actually have a running list. So thank you. I'm still working through all of the emails that y'all sent. Um, I am responding back to those actually and sending some questions. So be looking for that in your email. If you do not get an email from me, <laughs> um, maybe uh, PM me and say, hey, I sent you an email. I am going to put everyone into one chat thread and I will post the weekly assignments in that chat thread. It's not necessarily going to be like a, for everyone to like chitter chat in, <laughs> you know, feel free to ask questions or to share some breakthroughs or whatever, but it's not going to really be a, a chat thread to be like, Hey, my person has detox. How do I help them? Okay. That's for something else. <laughs> okay. So, all right. Um, I want you to post in the chat thread on this zoom, what your goal is. That's one thing I forgot to ask. <laughs> um, for May, we have that 369 incentive. Do y'all see that? You can earn an Apple Watch, you can earn a cool water bottle, you can earn uh, 200 bucks of Lululemon, speaking of which, they have cool stuff. And it's not just for girls, it's for guys too. Um, so put in the comments what your goal is. I think it's good to stay accountable, and that's the goal of these calls is to be accountable to our goals. So just like we did in March, it was like the, the number one focus was earn the iPad, help six people earn the iPad. Okay. So I want you to post in the comment or in the chat thread, what your specific goal is for this month. I'm helping three and I'm going to earn the water bottle. I'm helping six. <laughs> I'm helping nine. Okay. Whatever your goal is, post it down there. Um, if you have a rank up goal, yeah, totally shout that out. Awesome. Suzanne's going to get rank up to gold this month. Yay. That's so awesome. Okay. <clears throat> So this is my goal. Jess and I talk about Plexus all the time. And our goal for you, our goal for ourselves even, is to help you guys be as successful as you want to be in this business. And I'm super excited that, super excited that you guys are all in and that you're committed, <laughs> committed to the process, committed to yourselves, committed to your, your teams, committed to your growth. And Really, this, this business will gift you. I was reviewing some notes from last convention, actually, because I'm using some of the content that Tara Castaneda shared. And she said, this business will gift you. But we have to have clarity. And that's the, that's the title of this today's session is Clarity. And if, you ha if we've been in your neck of the woods, this is something that we've chatted about at our, at our in-person events. Because I think it's, it's key to your success. It's key to success in anything. If you're going to go run a marathon, you got to have clear set goals, right? To go knock that out of the park. Um, so it's the same thing with, in business if you have business goals, okay? And we're in business uh, for ourselves, but not by ourselves. And sometimes I think the tendency is like, dun, 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 you know, <laughs> where it can be what we want it to be. So if you work it like a business and you are laser focused, like you have a business, it's going to gift you differently than if it's just like this, you know, hobby and it's if I get to it and that kind of attitude or surrounding your plexus business. Um, 
So um, our, my goal is for you guys to identify your strengths and weaknesses. And that's what was one of the things that you sent me. So thank you for being vulnerable in those emails. I am reading through those, sharing your dreams. I mean, it's super, super personal stuff. So thank you guys for sharing that. Um, and our, you know, Justin's gonna pop on some of these as well. Um, but our goal for you guys is to maximize your potential. And sometimes you're not even aware of what your potential is. Um, until you, you know, until you start, until you start learning and, or until you have maybe a coach or someone that says, um, you can go silver faster than one year <laughs> or whatever it is, you know? So, all right. So we want momentum. We want success. And have any, were any of you on Preston Pugmire's calls or listen to the recording? Um, some of this I'm going to repeat from that because I thought it was so profound. Um, but he gave a he basically said, your thoughts will yield your actions. And this, when I was thinking back to when I started Plexus, this was very true for me. Um, it started here <laughs> and it was a very gradual transition. I didn't start Plexus for a business. I didn't start it even to help people. I was just starting to help myself with my health. Um, but he, he said, basically, it's like these, uh, it's like a picture of a tree. You have Strategy on the top, which strategy would be like your actions, the steps, the results. So like the things that everyone sees, like you rank up, everyone sees that. You have a certain number of points, everyone sees that. Um, it's also your actions. So whatever you're doing or not doing, for example, um, you know, how many online events are you hosting? How many people are you helping go silver? Um, what's your follow-up like? What's your IPA like? Okay, those are kind of the the fruits, right? <laughs> but it's really, it's really symptomatic of what's going on down here. So if we're having trouble here with our mindset, and our, and our mindset is basically just our thoughts and our beliefs. It's not some sort of voodoo stuff. It's just what you think about and what you believe, okay? And really that determines everything. And I would say looking back on my journey, totally, it totally affected my journey. It affects how fast you go. It affects, it affects if you get stuck. <laughs> um, and it, oh, it's also your emotions and how you're feeling. Because if those aren't in alignment, it kind of doesn't matter how many actions you take. You're gonna, <laughs> you're not gonna grow, or at least not as fast as you want. So I don't know, I'm so visual that that really made sense when he used that illustration. Um, one second. Here we go. Um, and this is the thing. Everyone that's on here is at least silver or above. So you guys know what to do. I mean, we have the Doe app now. It's awesome. Work, it's a way to work smarter, not harder. It's, there's scripts in there. So if you're not sure what to say or, you know, if you're wanting, wanting to relationship with, build, build with people versus just, you know, specifically reach out about Plexus, um, that's all there. <laughs> the team page is there. You can basically search for any information you want about the doing. Um, the one thing that I wrote down last night as I was thinking about this is fear is the belief that affects our actions. Um, let me see my notes here. And this is the thing. It all affects our posture. So our mindset affects our posture, which affects our actions. And if you're if you're fearful, your confidence level is not going to be there. People sense that, right? Um, and there's some people in Plexus right now that are killing it. And they don't necessarily have strategy. They're just excited about Plexus. They are gathering people to do this thing. And I think that's encouraging. I mean, to me, culture eats strategy for lunch. <laughs> so you have a, an excited team of people. I mean, that's going to take you farther, longer, faster than, you know, if you're doing all the right things, so to speak, and you don't have that excitement, you don't have that passion. Um, okay, yeah, and these are the things that are going to move the needle. It's, it starts with our mindset. And if you have a lot of fears, it's basically like driving a car with a parking brake on. <laughs> and, you know, when you start to address your mindset, you start to address your fears, you start to evaluate where you're at and versus where you want to be. Um, it's kind of like when you take that, that parking brake off, 
you can apply the same pressure, but that car goes, <laughs> it goes a lot, it just goes a lot smoother, right? So I think the, the main thing is, are you coming from a place of faith or fear? And um, so let's see, this is what I'm going to do before. Well, let's see. I'll share, I'll share where I was at in the beginning of Plexus. So I went from, I can't do that. <laughs> and I actually wrote down some of the lies I thought. I thought, because I knew people like this. I don't have a national herb store or a nationwide network, and I don't own a health food store. There's no way I can be successful. Those people can. Like, I can totally see them being successful. Okay? That's what I thought, because I, there were specific people I knew when I started, and they were at the same, like, stage as me. They were, like, trying to go silver. That was the head trash. I, that was a story I was telling myself why I couldn't be successful. Um, all the way up until Sapphire, I had subconscious hangups about having a business. And it wasn't until I listened to a video that Jessica did about business. Okay, she came into Plexus. She, she was a marketing or business major. Okay, so she kind of had some of that skill set, some of that knowledge. I'm a little bit entrepreneurial, so that side was intriguing to me and I thought it was cool. But I had to figure out what I thought about having a business and that it was totally fine. It was totally okay. Every other person that has a business, I mean, the world runs off of business. Every single service person in my life, I pay, right? I pay someone to do my hair. I pay someone to clean my house. I um, pay someone to watch my kids sometimes. So why is this any different, <laughs> right? And so I had, to, I had to get okay with that. And, but, but that was subconsciously holding me back. And it was holding back my team because my posture toward them was not confidence. <laughs> um, also, I, t I told myself the lie that I don't have time to be organized. I had a big problem with perfectionism. Um, I, I mean, these are things that I'm still overcoming. So it's not like I'm speaking from a place of authority, but um, I'm learning. Um, also, this place of constant overwhelm, I allowed that in my vocabulary, um, which when you actually understand where you're coming from, I was coming from a place of lack and scarcity <laughs> and fear. Um, and really overwhelm, I've, I've heard several people say, it's simply a, a lack of a plan or system. And there are two videos. So I kind of subconsciously worked on my, I didn't subconsciously work on it. I didn't realize what I was doing at the time, but it basically was training my mind in a different way than it had been thinking. I listened to two videos on repeat. I listened to Jessica Heffley's fear video, and I listened to Lori Harrison's comfort zone videos. And both of those two videos showed me my, she, they just made me aware of the limiting perspectives that I had. And it also made, made me aware of my selfishness because basically I was saying, well, I can't share because of what people are going to say or think. How self-focused is that, right? Until I started to flip the script in my brain that this is actually not about me. This is about other people, people that I can serve, people that I can help. And it is totally okay to get compensated for a service that I'm offering, which is helping people with their health, which I was doing before Plexus anyways, right? So those are a couple of places where I was at. And I started working on my mindset. I became aware of the fears that I was having and the fears that I was facing. And I identified those. And that really, that's the key to overcoming. Key to overcoming anything in life is first addressing what it is and then yeah and so <clears throat> um think of something that you know you should do you guys remember preston talking about that yeah i can put the names of the videos in the chat i was going to put them in there once i make that chat thread on facebook um so think of something that you know you should do does everyone have something in their brain <laughs> thinking of I know I shouldn't do this. Um, it doesn't necessarily even have to be plexus. It could be like health related. Um, what is this one sentence that stops you from doing it? What's the story that you create in your, your mind? Does someone, is someone game for like unmuting and sharing? Sometimes it's nice to have a different voice than me the whole time. <laughs> Who's game for unmuting and sharing a story? Okay, Suzanne. Hi. Hello. Um, 
one thing that I tell myself is, um, actually it's two things, I don't have time. And the other one is, um, I think it's, I think it's like a fear that I have of, um, saying the wrong thing to somebody, mm -hmm. whatever the repercussions of that is, like giving them the wrong information, um, that kind of thing, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that. Okay. Amber says running out of time. So yeah, she's tracking with you. Who else? Okay. Put it in the chat thread if you have, um, a set of something that you know you should do or a sentence that you feel like is stopping you, like you're creating a story in your mind. So Suzanne, have you thought about the answer or the, not the answer necessarily, but kind of the overcoming sentence that can help you get past that? I don't have time here. Um, you have to make time. Mm -hmm. It's that simple. You have, you have to make the time and that's what I've been doing because before it's like, well, I've got all this other stuff to do. Um, I've got other priorities and you have to make this a priority or it's not going to work. Exactly. So, so you took that, basically that sentence of scarcity, I don't have time, and you flipped the script, which if we use Bible terms, it's basically t you took that thought captive and you, you flipped it because, because you see something in Plexus that can be worth it, worth your time. And so you're seeing, you're seeing that future part. You're, you're looking with the eyes of faith, which this business totally takes faith. Um, I think it was Brooke Hemingway that said that. I'm like, that is so true. There are so many things that I saw in Plexus before it was ever a reality for me or my team or any of those things. Um, I remember, so do you guys, um, okay, so let's look at some of these other ones. Worry what, other, worry what others will think of me. <laughs> Pretty sure all of us think that. <laughs> if you've thought that, raise your hand, okay? Um, Trying to juggle too much and getting stressed out, balancing priorities, yes. And that's the, that's the struggle of life, right? I feel like that's in everything. Um, talking to more people, imbalance the plexus post versus uh, personal. Finding an app that can help me balance that. I know that anything is possible, yeah. So, so whatever you're telling yourself, write those things down. The more you can have clarity on, I just realized what I'm telling myself. I'm, real, I'm realizing what my mantra is that I'm repeating, and it's not something that, they, that is based in faith. It is based out of fear, scarcity, um, negativity. <laughs> and, and I have, the Plexus has helped both uh, Jess and I realize um, our fears, places where we're coming from scarcity, and also our negative mindsets. <laughs> and so what a blessing, right? To be able to get out of the funk and and, you know, jump into all that God has for us, you know, and you, using, I mean, Plexus being the vehicle to learn these things. How awesome. I mean, we get paid while we're learning these things. Isn't that great? So I wrote down that excuses are your fears talking. How many times have you realized, oh, that's an excuse. Actually, if I dig deeper, it's a fear. Um, and this, Justin, we're talking about this the other day. He goes, we live in the land of opportunity. I mean, is anyone on here from, not from United States? Well, regardless, we, <laughs> we live in a place where you can change the tax bracket that you're currently in. Like, there are opportunities that are still alive and well in this country. And I, I mean, the kids are re re learning history, American, early American history. And it said that yesterday. Basically, this is the land of opportunity. People came here from other countries to have not just religious freedom, but to have um, you know, a different financial future, which was cool. Um, and what's that? That's a word. <laughs> He's green back there. <laughs> and Justin was saying, he, he believes that we're going to give account for the opportunities that we've been given and how we use those. I was like, whoa, that's profound. And how many people are too either lazy or they're too scared to maximize their God-given potential. I was like, yikes, I don't want that to be said of me, <laughs> you know, goodness. Okay, so thinking is the first big step, recognizing patterns of thinking and behavior um, and realizing that our thoughts can reveal our unbelief and our fear. 
Um, and I wrote down, we got to listen to ourselves think, and we have to learn to flip the script. So this week, as you're thinking, maybe in the quiet spaces, or maybe you're complaining to your spouse, or you're just whatever, listen to what you're saying, or, or what you're thinking. So the, the number one thing to overcoming is the awareness part. Um, and be responsible for every thought that you think. Okay, and that's why it's so important to be listening to good music, things that are going to feed your soul. That's why personal growth is important. In my opinion, that's why prayer and God's word is important. Because without those things, we're going to just drift. I mean, I am speaking from personal experience. I will naturally just go to the negative if I'm not current, you know, constantly listening to good quality music, good um, sound teaching, and um, listening to good podcasts on personal growth, okay? So clarity, this is the word for today. What do you want? And that's what I, that's kind of my trump card. And because what, once you figure that out, it determines everything because it affects your actions. It affects how fast, it affects how much, it affects so, so many things. So if time and money were no object, where would you live? Where would your kids go to school? What would you drive? How, where would you give? What would you give? Have you guys ever thought about those things? I think you were kind of thinking about those things with the homework that I gave you guys this past week. Um, and also, what do you want this month? Have you written down, have you written that down? Some of you were putting in the chat thread what your um, goal is for May. But like, write down how many people you want to help. And you'll have those little sticky notes. Put it on your, like above your desk or on your notebook cover. Put those sticky tabs there. Pray over those people, those future people. You don't know who's going to actually join your team, you know, when it's the right timing for people. But make those blank little note cards. The more visual you can be, the more successful you're going to be. And that's one thing that I heard. Do you, all, do you guys all listen to that team call from, from, from the beginning of the month? If you haven't, go listen to it. Every single person that shared on there, um, so basically we had Ruby and Above that ranked up in April share. They had a vision and they were very clear on what their goal was and they, have, they had written it down and they had shared it with more than just themselves. They had gotten their team on board, their family on board. It was, this was the vision. They wrote the vision and they made it plain, right? I think the other thing to ask yourself is where is my lack? Okay, because you'll get to a certain point in this business where your skill, your current skill set taps out. Your current leadership lid is at the max, right? And so then beyond that, we just have to grow past that. Okay, and that's not a bad thing. It's, it's a good thing. But realizing like, okay, this is something that I've never done before and it's kind of scary, but I'm going to go do it. And I would say that has been the story of my journey and I think why I have grown really quickly is because every time that I've faced a scary thing, I act with urgency. The, the more scary it is, and then the quicker I do it. <laughs> okay. And 2019 can be your breakthrough year. It can be your breakthrough spring, your breakthrough summer, but you just have to decide that and declare it. <laughs> I know Bob Heilig said that this, this business is an assignment from God to grow you as a person to face your fear so that you can operate from a place of love and of impact and so you can serve more people and so that you can grow. I thought that was so profound. I actually wrote that quote down. I think I put it on the team page too. That this business is an assignment from God. Have you ever viewed it that way? Like that gives you purpose and that gives you, uh, well, at least it does for me, motivation to learn the things, right? Um, so we're coming to the end of our call. But I wanted to share, so I have a notebook <laughs> that I took notes in from last convention. And Tara Castaneda said that this is a practice that she and her husband do consistently. They're double diamonds. She's, I think, on her reentry, she's almost emerald. So they, they know what they're talking about, right? And so she said, write down what your next year will look like. And she said, because this business will gift you, you need to revisit what you write down every three months. You need to have a big vision and a big dream. And basically what you think about, you bring about because it subconsciously affects <laughs> the way you daily act, right? 
And so um, the homework for this week is simple, but I want you to write out your story. Um, Lauren Collinsworth, she's a brand new Sapphire. She wrote, she posted in the Jewel page the story that she wrote of her life last year. And she basically wrote her future. It kind of, it was kind of crazy, but I would like you guys to write that out. It feels weird. And you're basically um, saying something that is not true yet. But guys, I've, I have done that my whole Plexus business. I was saying we are a team that's on the leaderboard before we were like way far away from the leaderboard. <laughs> my name was not on that leaderboard. And I started saying one team is going to be on the leaderboard. We are going to be a team dominating from the stage. There's going to be a bunch of jewels on the team, a bunch of diamonds, you know, all the things. I had written down specifics in terms of points. I, re I got this book out last night because I'm like, where I remember writing that down. I am almost ready to hit that goal. By convention this year, I should probably hit that um, 10,000 point goal of my goal from last year. And then I was, this was, I was barely hanging on the diamond. So like 4,500. So to have over doubled that in a year, what? Like who does that? And I'm, I'm being vulnerable and sharing my goals and do not whatever your goals are, those are, those are your goals specific to you. <coughs> and I put down double diamond couple or not double diamond yet, but pretty, pretty soon we're, we'll be um, teaching from stage and encouraging families, helping to set people free with their identity, their mindset, um, freedom in the, in light of their fears, in light of their finances, um, in their marriages and with their time. And then I wrote down people's names, specific people's names as diamonds and as jewels. Um, and yeah, I, I mean, I put down dream house, which we're getting ready to break ground on in a, like a couple of weeks. Um, I just wrote down specifics. Um, Justin being able to travel with the boys and go on boy trips. Um, Madeline having more opportunities. And I just wrote down your thoughts become your reality. So this week, I'm going to do, I'm going to do this exercise again for myself. I'm going to write the story and I'm going to revisit it every couple months. And the one thing that I did last night also is revisit my goals for 2019. My word for the year, you know, all the things I had written down, not just business, but family stuff as well. Um, so your homework for this week is to write your story. So basically, you write your story a year from now. Um, you don't have to share it with anyone, but I would, I would invite you to at least share it with your spouse or someone that's close to you, that loves you, okay? Um, also, make a vision board. How many of you have a vision board? Anyone? All right. So the one thing that I learned from that 10X conference is you're not – you're never too successful to make a vision board. Steve Harvey, when he went out on stage, Grant Cardone's like, hey, Steve, th this is not, totally not like on the script, but can you show them? Let's put your, let's put your screensaver on the, on the big screen. He goes, I just saw his screensaver. Guys, he has a vision board on the back of his phone, so he sees it. And so he had like an Africa on there. He had a pretty like, Georgia, Georgia plantation. He said it's his wife's dream house. Like uh, Chick Fil A was on there. Just different things because it was personal to him because it it represented his future plans, the things that he was looking forward to partnering with, to you know doing, to being, to having, whatever it was. And so, um, also your vision board can involve your family. So get your kids on board. Get your hub, hubby, your wife. Um, I don't know if there's any guys on here, but um, I know Melinda, she has buy-in from her kids and her husband, and they're going to go on an Alaskan trip um, this summer. That's like their big goal as a family because of Plexus, right? So whatever that is for you, write it down, get a picture of it. You can do it on the screensaver of your phone, or if you want to like cut out pictures and post it on a poster board, or um, whatever it looks like for you. <laughs> totally fine. <laughs> um, I might have you post those in our chat thread once you get your vision boards done and we'll just share them in our chat thread with each other. Um, and then the third thing is to listen to the Mel Robbins um, intro and chapter one, which is her 
her um, interview of Dan. And I will drop the other two videos in our, in our chat thread as well. The, the two that I listened to on repeat when I was brand new <laughs> as a new ambassador. Um, the reason I'm having you listen to that Mel Robbins audiobook is because I have, I feel like I have kind of a world opened up to me, both from an empathetic position with helping people overcome or just being able to um, come from a place of empathy with people because a lot of people are struggling with a lot of things. And because if you don't see yourself in at least one of those people, then I don't know. I mean, she basically addresses the top five fears that people have, and it's her personal coaching sessions with these people. So you basically get to sit privy to her working through people's issues with them. And it all relates back to fear. And one thing I really like that she does is she has them identify how it manifests itself in their body because it starts in your body before it even gets to your brain. And I guess that was so profound to me because I'm like, huh, interesting. Um, and one of the things that I've been consciously trying to do in my life is rid myself of angst, <laughs> which, which is basically getting rid of that feeling of I'm not in control or um, I don't like the feeling of stress, anxiety, uh, frustration. So I'm been, I've been looking for solutions. And, but after listening to her talk, it's been really profound to me because um, just the things that I'm learning <laughs> about fear, about overcoming, about um, creating solutions so that you can, well, overcome those things, right? And it's also, I think, valuable for ministry purposes and helping other people overcome their stuff too. So, and also with our kids. <laughs> I'm totally thinking of my parenting as I'm listening to that. Um, so, and you do not have to have a traumatic past to have hangups <laughs> or to have fears or to have things to overcome. And so wh wherever you're coming from, I think that there'll be a little tidbit for everyone in listening to that. Um, also, you might listen with an earbud because there is some language. So just FYI on that, but I think we're all <laughs> mature enough here to be able to overlook that and just uh, listen for what you can glean out of it. I'm always the person that says, take the meat, throw out the bones. Um, so yeah, so that's that. All right, who's doing the IPA stuff <laughs> on the team page? I'm doing like a little, blitzy thing the first of the month here so basically 25 reach outs a day okay good awesome um so if you have goals to add 369 this month i would highly encourage you to do that ipa challenge um and it can look like however you want if 25 is overwhelming to you right now in your life it's okay <laughs> do 10 do something just do not not do anything because you're overwhelmed okay do something you can do the dough app i mean that's that's awesome and that's honestly that's a given for this class i mean everyone needs to be doing their dough app every day just being consistent with the things and and all those things okay um what also i wanted to say whatever you do this month is going to affect leaders retreat that starts next month okay so this isn't a blank month where we just like sit back relax we just work on our mindset <laughs> this is a this is a month to press in to create those conversations to plant seeds to um chat with a lot of people about plexus because what we say what we always say is this business comes in spurts it's like the 90 day rule what we do today affects what happens in 90 days okay so staying consistent with those things but leaders retreat every single person on this call can earn that it's an earned trip it's awesome <coughs> it's everyone from um silver all the way up to senior ruby jewels cannot earn that trip so you have totally fair game it, i mean people join halfway into the contest and earn it so do not discount the fact that you can go earn that trip it's based around recruitment developing silvers so um also convention i'll say again go get registered for convention guys it's going to be the best convention yet the title of it is rise up so i know that they're really intentional about the training that they're going to provide um it's all going to be about leadership about learning learning the skill set it's going to be a, a couple days packed full of belief building stuff testimonials encouragement i mean sometimes it's just the in-between stuff because you get a chat with people and you get even one idea that can change the trajectory of your business for the entire year and then this is the thing i say Okay, so it costs you 500 or 1,000 bucks to go to convention. You have to view that as an investment. Like, I'm going to spend that so that I can, like, <laughs> you could return next year at convention as an emerald or as a diamond. And I'll say one thing really quickly. Jessica was sharing with me a story of a girl that said, was telling her, like, 
the reason why I'm not, that I don't want to be diamond is because of the amount of taxes that she would have to pay. And so Jessica was trying to help her unpack. She's like, so you're going to work in a job for 50, 40 years or however long to be able to pay your insurance and pay for retirement. And you don't want to, you don't want to pay $50,000 in taxes as a diamond, but you're going to make like 400,000. <laughs> it's okay to make, I mean, it's, a, it's okay to have to pay that higher tax amount because you're making so much more. But see, it's interesting how, how limiting our, our mindset and our beliefs can be. So in, in terms of going to convention, do not let, um, you know, a limiting mindset or a belief hold you back from going because it, it truly is an investment in yourself and in your business. And I'm, I did not go to my first convention and I think how much less I maybe would have had to wade through with my fears, with my belief, with my um, encouragement, if I would have just gone to that first convention and been able to, in three days, <laughs> grasp the things, right? So I'm, tell, I'm telling you that story so that you guys can um, process that and go get registered and then figure out the details in the next six weeks. Okay. All righty, guys. Um, it is 7.06. I'm trying to... Uh, Leaders Retreat will be announced at the end of convention. It's like the climax of convention because they'll announce that. Last year was a cruise. The year before that was in Orlando or Texas. I can't remember. They're usually hosted at the um, oh, Gaylord, Gaylord Resorts, which is cool, super cool. I'm just looking at the chat here. Thank you guys for adding or putting all your... <coughs> all your goals in there, um, some limiting mindsets, vision boards, yes. Okay, Amber started listening to Mel Robbins yesterday. Yeah, get ready to learn a lot. Um, convention is, convention is, isn't it um, June 18th? <laughs> Go look in the back office. I think it starts June 18th, it's like three or four days. Okay, um, are, do you guys have any questions? I, I'm totally happy. If you need to pop off, you can totally pop off. Leaders Retreat is October. There's a, yeah, I'll post the dates again on the team page so you guys can see that. Um, yeah, save the dates because that's some, something you don't wanna miss. Um, if you need to pop off, go ahead and pop off. I will stay on for another five, five minutes or so. Does anyone have any specific questions? I'm happy to help answer those. Let me listen to Dan on Mel's audio. Anyone have any specific questions? Suzanne, yeah, just unmute. Just go ahead and unmute. Um, I tried to download <laughs> the Doe app last night and I had a world of trouble. So I'm gonna try it again today and see what happens. It kept pending. And oh. pending, pending. So I don't know what's going on with that. You might have to update your phone first. Um, that's the next question because it, he said to do it on your your computer first. So should I just forget that and do it on my phone? <laughs> uh, well, if he said it on your computer first, maybe do that first. Okay. <coughs> I'll try it again today. Okay. Yeah, I'm not super techie, so <laughs> good luck. <laughs> Thanks. I know how to use Zoom, and I did learn how to download the, the Doe app. <laughs> Can I add something, Megan? Yeah. Um, I can't remember the other lady that was just speaking. Um, I had trouble downloading the Doe app on my laptop at first, so I had to go to my PC, and once I downloaded it on my PC, he walked me through linking it or downloading it to my um my laptop and my tablet so i think it does it has something to do i'm not sure it's something to do with how much a space or hard drive or whatever you have to make all those transitions and get your facebook um people into the system and then after that it's easy okay yeah so that's helpful all righty anything else Okie doke.
All right. Well, we'll see you next Tuesday. I will get the chat thread going and I'll put the homework assignments in there. Thanks guys for hopping on. Have a great day. Yeah. See if you're in, if you're going to be in Lincoln, I'll see you tonight. <laughs> All right. Bye. <laughs>